Hello, I'm Firebug. If you guys are new, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about a couple things that are coming brand new in Season 10. The first of which is going to be the Rampage LMG, and then a new hop-up for the Wingman and the Hemlock, and then we're going to move on to some World's Edge map changes. Earlier today, we could get a trailer from Apex Legends, just introducing us to the Rampage LMG, hosted by Staycation, and we did actually learn quite a bit about this new weapon that we didn't already. First of all, it basically looks like a car from Titanfall 2, except mixed with a Spitfire and really buffed up a lot. Um, and taking a look right away here, we see it started with 32 in a magazine and then went to 46 with the Golden Mag. So that's not like a huge jump, but it is a significant jump. It's kind of similar to a Spitfire, basically. Next, we're going to take a look at the fire rate and the recoil pattern. It has an incredibly slow fire rate, and the recoil pattern isn't really all that bad. Another thing to notice down in the right hand corner is to charge it, you will use a thermite, and it's just going to work just like the Sentinel does with shield cells. Next, we're going to take a look at how much damage this gun does. So it does 42 to the head, 28 to the body, and then 24 to the arms and legs. That is some pretty solid damage um, with its just base fire rate, which is pretty slow. I think it's going to be pretty balanced and actually an interesting weapon to use. But once you throw a thermite in there, watch what happens. The fire rate increases a whole bunch. And also, as we saw in the trailer, you can shoot down doors when the thermite is added as well. So... When there is no thermite, it's basically a little bit slower spitfire, but when there is a thermite, it's a huge devastating weapon. Next, I want to talk about the brand new hop-up for the Hemlock and the Wingman. It is going to be called Boosted Loader, and this was briefly seen in that little Rampage LMG video we did see earlier. Uh, Staycation actually did quickly hover over this hop up and that's how we get this very low quality picture here but that's all right we can read it once we zoomed in boosted loader is going to be the name of it reloading when near empty will speed up reloading and overload the next magazine so basically what I think is how this is going to work is when you are at basically use your whole mag you're at zero you're going to reload faster or maybe if you have one or two bullets left in the magazine um, you will reload faster still and also have one or two extra bullets in the magazine that you have next. I think this is going to be huge for the wingman and the hemlock in the next season. We might be seeing the hemlock being used over the scout again. It hasn't been like that for a while, but single fire hemlocks, just be ready. Alright, let's move on to the map changes on World's Edge. First, we're going to be having the... Climatizer. Climatizer is replacing uh, the old refinery behind Eptocenter. And basically the whole reason this place is here is to cool the planet down or cool this area down to make sure it is still livable. Of course with the uh, harvester overreacting, uh, everything heated up quite a bit. So this is going to keep things cool. That's sort of like the, the story of lore behind this location. But it does look pretty cool in my opinion. I'm glad they expanded the snow. Next, we're going to see Fissure Extension, and basically the Lava River expanded like pretty much all the way across the map. My personal opinion, this looks super cool. I like the, the snow and the ice on top of the Lava River. I think that looks super cool, completely contrasting elements there. Uh, very cool in my opinion. Next, we're going to have Lava Siphon, and this is what is replacing Sorting Factory. Unfortunately, Sorting Factory, favorite to many, is going to be completely gone, and now we're going to have this location. And just like Climatizer, the story or lore behind this location is they're taking the molten rock and the lava and releasing it into the atmosphere. And that is the whole point of this area of the map. Uh, they say it's safe for the environment that way, but you know, Hammond, and I seriously doubt it. But nonetheless, I think it does look super cool. We'll, see, have to, we'll have to see how it plays out. Next is Landslide. Now, I was a big Train Yard fan, and this is a pathetic replacement they have for Train Yard. Um, at least it's something. Moving on to Overlook. Overlook, pretty much exactly the same. They just changed a little bit. They removed the pillar that was in between. There used to be a row of three, now it's just two with a couple supply bins between them. And there is a little tunnel through the mountain. Also, going from Overlook towards Capital City or the little no-name spot, there are some more tunnels in the mountains as well. So a little bit more ways to rotate around the map. 
Lastly, I want to talk about the new skybox. I think this looks amazing. Both blue skies and some red and orange lightning going on over there. Uh, some good contrast. I think it's super cool. I like what they did with the map. Visually, we'll have to see how it plays out. So I'll have for you guys in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post those in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you later.